Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the IVRL playoff group number two. I'm your host, Trip, and it's just me today. You can just get me all day, every day. That's what you wanted. We're going to be watching some... Uh, who do I got? I have The Attic and Homeland Esports is the first matchup of today. Uh, and they are hopping into the lobby, so we're going to be starting in like 30 seconds. So let's just get this kicked off. I want to give a shout out to Bobo VR for sponsoring today's events. Before we get there, Bobo VR makes excellent head straps for the quest. I don't know if you've used them. Uh, mine should actually be here today. I ordered the M2 Plus with the batteries. You can play all day because the batteries are hot swappable and they're supposed to be really comfy. That's what I've been told. So I got one. We'll see. I'll get back to you. But let's hop into the scoreboard and uh, get right into this. Go. Controller up. There we go. Hmm. This where should be here at some point. They're done. That's what it's fine. It looks like it's going to be a strong push from Homeland here. Getting onto that scan. Shadowhawk putting the scan out. Now we've got 45 seconds. And now they're start, starting to move in. You've got Kogeru, Saba, and Pinbit pushing in. Trying to retake that objective. Pinbit starts to disable. Shadowhawk comes around. Pinbit's trying to one-hand him. He's gonna have to reload. No, he gets the kill. Scan interrupted. And the scan is Round interrupted. Off. Let's watch that again, folks. I definitely thought Pinbit was gonna just eat it there with those uh the one hand Round defense, starting. but Get ready. and it looks like he had it. Let's talk about the rosters today we've got tnt man saba pinbit kogeru and urea on the asiatic side shadowhawk virtual panda austin dort stack and jd on the homeland side and i believe austin was actually the winner of our giveaway yesterday Pinbit picks up short stack there with a nice headshot, but they've rotated. Homeland now going to go for the other Scan side started. of the map. I forget which side is which. Someone tell me. This is A. That's what I thought. This is A. Okay. And they're setting up in defensive posture. I mean, look at them. They're, they're all taking a corner. I feel like this one has a very better defensible position than some of the other sites we've seen. I mean, there's just so many more corners and much shorter lines of sight than what you get on some of the others. Austin takes up one. The trade comes out between Virtual Panda and Pinbit. And now it's all up to Saba, but he only has step. He doesn't have enough time. He can't grab it. He can't defuse. It takes seven seconds to defuse. Round loss. And there we have it. Scan complete. Round loss. Tying it up. One to one on map number one, day number two of the playoffs. Round starting. Probably get up ready. Center myself a little bit better. No, no, I can't. Why that's like that? Beep. I just need to move over. There we go. See a B push here from Homeland. Austin, the only one on the flank, does get taken out by TNT Man, but it is a trade. 
Saba gets short stacked. They're pushing up through the barricades. Rivera picks up one, but Virtual Panda gets a retract. Pinbit gets a little pushy and gets taken out by Shadowhawk, but not before he gets Virtual Panda. Saba now chasing the backside of Shadowhawk. Shadow does have the scanner. Grenades coming out onto the objective, but not making it inside. Shadowhawk is going to be able to get that scan out, but will he be able to defend it? He has to hold it for like 30 some seconds. 30, math is hard. If it takes seven seconds to defuse, and it's 45 seconds, he needs to hold it for 30 seconds. He's going to get Saba here. Saba has to get the reload. Shadowhawk gets him. He knows that one's Round inside, lost. and he gets him as well. And that puts Homeland up two points. Set these names on here so I can tell who's who. Round starting. Get ready. Beautiful. Here we go. Into round number four. And we're, look, we're seeing a different approach once again from Homeland. They're going to take a 2 3 split. The nades rolling in. The nades almost catching JD there. Short stack still coming up through the skate park. Austin trades out with one. Ogeru picks up short stack. And now, looks like Shadow and Panda are going to be stuck approaching on A side. They really need JD to make some noise here. The, the play is to make JD act like he's more people than he is. Ogeru gets picked up by JD. And now TNT Man's going to be looking this way. While the rest of them are pushing that way, oh, TNT Man does get him. Urea hears the footsteps from Shadow and Virtual. Shadow gets Urea. Urea? Urea? Isn't Urea part of the fire? Scan started. DT Man has to get in here. Gonna hear the footsteps. Taking shots. He's trying to hit Virtual Panda. He's got 30 seconds left. He's looking for Shadow to make that rotation. Oh, he looks away at the wrong time. Almost gets him. Pin bit picks up Virtual Panda. Sorry, I thought there was only one alive. There are two alive on defense. Shadowhawk takes one down. Now it's just Pin bit. He's got 19 seconds. Shadowhawk needs to play the time. Needs to keep rotating. He's gonna go for the gunfight wow, instead, and he gets the kill. And Homeland go up three to one. Also, good morning, everybody. Round starting. How are you today? Um, if any of my mods are watching, we could update the Nightbot bracket command to point to that link. That would be amazing. Oh, this nade. This nade. Oh, so that one, though. Oh, that's going to hit JD, but not kill him. JD now down to half, half health. The rest of the team pushing hard onto A. Saba comes around the corner swinging. JD goes down. There's only two on defense. They're getting pushed by four. Now there's only one on defense over here. Are they getting pushed by three? Not the fight, I don't know the numbers. He and T-Man gets Shadowhawk. Now they're going to push him for Panda and short stack. Panda goes down. TNT man rotating Round enough. Lost. Oh, and the nade catches short stack. I didn't see that. It was off the side. Let's see if the replay catches that. It was just off of the side of my screen. Round starting. Get ready. I think he must have been pretty low health because I don't think he was that close to that grenade. Homeland up three to two. Very close game here. Of course, that coming in, getting ready to throw that nade. I love how you can tell that they're prepping a nade. Like, you can see him through the wall, and you can see that, like, hand cocked back, ready to throw. Short stack does, does take some damage there from the nade, and then gets picked up by Urea. TNT comes around just pre firing, make sure nobody's there, giving away his position. But he, ooh, what an angle there. That was good. Virtual Panda. Now, oh, Austin's in the middle. He's going to come this way. Oh, Shadow and JD going to opt for the other side. They're going for B. They've got the scanner. Shadowhawk is scanner main here, apparently. And they're going to get it free and clear. The rotations are going to start happening. Scan started. Four members of the defense coming at two members of offense. Now holding a defensive posture on the site. 
Playing time is important here. Repeat from JD gets one. Now he's going to get into a firefight with two more. Pinbit and TNT. The nades start rolling in. Is that going to catch him? No, it's not. It's offside. He needs to stay alive. He gets another one. He swings around the left side now. TNT man's moving up. He's, he's, here's the scanner start to defuse. He knows the pinbit's there. He does pick up pinbit. Now is he going to get the last one? He gets the team man JD lost. with the clutch. Let's watch that in full screen, people. That's not an instant replay. That's a that's a full screen replay. Here we go. Stay alive. He gets another one. He swings around the left side now. TNT man's moving up. He's, he's, here's the scanner start to defuse. He knows the pinbit's there. He does pick up pinbit. Now is he going to get the last one? JD doing work. He didn't panic when he heard that scanner, which allowed him to pick up pinbit and then move on. Kogeru does finally get someone with the nade, and I was thinking it would miss, so I didn't go over there. Kogeru gets seen by Austin. Looks like they're going to all rotate towards A now. Going through mid. Flash comes out. Nice flash. Austin definitely blind from that. Ripple Panda and short stack over there. Wait, where is the scanner? Oh, Shadow has it. Now they're going to rotate back. They get into a firefight with Pinbit coming out of the skate park. Oh, and a nade! What a nade coming in there. Shadowhawk now rotating away. He's going to have to go back through the nightclub, come out into the Overwatch. What do you guys call that? Not labeled on my call-out map, but I think it's like Overwatch exploding here. Overwatch, yeah, yeah. That's what we're going with now. Killbox. Short stack needs to make noise over here. Needs to draw the attention. He's got three members looking at him, and Pinbit now making the rotation over there as well. Shadowhawk needs to make this run and needs to go fast. Short stack is dead. If they don't find anyone over there, they're going to be assuming that they're, they're going to have to make the assumption that the rotation has happened and Shadow is on the other side. He's going to have to defend against four all by himself. He's going to get that yeah, scan I'm out, stuck. but man, is he going to be able to hold this defense? Pinbit sees him and takes him down. Now they got the time to scan. And that's going to be a point for Ziatic here. Scan interrupted. Round loss. Ziatic now three, Homeland four. This is a very tight game. Once again, I want to give a shout out to Round our sponsor, Bobo VR. Sponsoring today's stream. If you want to sponsor a stream, get in touch. Preferred sponsors to contact me are alcohol sponsors and energy drink sponsors. Because we use them to counteract each other. <laughs> oh, Panda and Austin pushing up in the middle while the rest of the team, Short Stack, JD, and Shadowhawk, make their approach on A. And the, with the mid cleared and A cleared, or sorry, B cleared. They have a better time on holding the defense once they get this scan in stopped. because they've got control of the mid, which they haven't had before while taking B. They're usually both on site trying to defend. Being able to put the hurt on them a little bit closer towards mid. Now it is just Shadowhawk alive. And he's tucked in. He's looking. He sees the gun. He hits one. Now, he, now TNT man's got to get there. 17 seconds. Oh, TNT man. Is he going to get there in time? Oh, this is going to be close. Who's going to get it? This is going to be so close. I think this is a scan. Oh, he gets it. Round loss. Oh my God. I didn't think that he would get that. Get like it was right on the line. Ladies and gentlemen, that might've been the closest play I've seen in this entire tournament. They're waiting the nades out now. We're seeing a lot less nades actually than we saw yesterday in the skate park. 
come the counter nades. The counter nades, that's counter flash. Austin there in the middle. I'm trying to distract him, but Austin's gonna peek this now. The flashes and the frags. Oh, and that gets one. And Kogero gets a second one. Austin's still there, not drawing enough attention for the cross to happen without getting taken Challenge out, but Shadowhawk started. does make it to the objective. And him and JD are on B. Now Austin's gonna push up. He needs to hold this mid. JD picks up one TNT man, now pushing up through the arches. J JD picks him up. I thought Shadow was gonna get that one. JD picks him up. Austin holding the mid. Now Urea's got Round two people lost. to deal with, and he gets taken out. Homeland goes up five to four. Excellent. Excellent plays, people. I'm loving it. McDonald's, if you want to sponsor. Round starting. <laughs> And this is only the first match of the day, folks. We have a huge bracket. And I will tell you who is playing in a second. Can't take my hands off the controllers. Don't wanna don't wanna miss any action. Alright, the throws are out. That one's nice and long. That one hitting a little bit of a backstop. Austin now starting to use nades in mid. Not catching anyone though. Saba there. Iria there. I'm probably butchering that name. I'm sorry. Like the rotation is going to happen. Austin goes down, but he does take one with him. Now JD is going to come up. Does not see TNT man, but Shadowhawk ready to go gets him, and now B is clear. Sorry, A is clear. And it's hard to remember what side's what. So many things going on in my head. Who's on what team? What side is what? Gary picks up short stack, but not before Virtual Panda actually gets the scan out, I think. Kogaru and Virtual Panda trade. Shadowhawk dealing with the last defender. He does buy some time, but I think Pinbit's got it. He needs to get to the objective, though. Why won't it, uh... Scan interrupted. He does get it and tie Round it back off. up to the attic now. Tied five to five. Let's take a look at the bracket. We're switching sides. Teams in today. We have Round starting. Ethereal, Wrecked, Precedence, Air 404, Kermit, Off Constantly, Potassium, Boss Fight, Death Wish, Ziatic, Homeland, and I'm missing someone in this screenshot. But you know what? I will show it to you in a second because I do have a fancy fifty graph. All right, let's follow the action. Here we go. Oh, we had side swap. Crap. This is what I get for talking. It ruins it ruins all of the fun. Ziatic going much slower. They've got that creep onto A. That's gonna confuse. Homeland, they're not going to be sure. Awesome, now looking for people. This is the pistol round. There's only been a couple of shots. Kogaru popping off shots. Awesome going over there to take a look. Not finding anyone. Moves back. Now the approach is coming in. All of the utility coming out. TNT man, Yurian, Saba all pushing up. Short, short stack here in the corner. No one checks it. Shortstack trying to get the kills. He gets one. He doesn't get the other one. Actually, he did get two. Shortstack did pick up two there. Virtual Panda and Shadowhawk coming in now, crashing onto A. In bit. 30 seconds, seconds left. Gogaru coming in now. Kogaru gets in a firefight. Pinbit's still alive. He's got the scanner. He picks up the scanner. Now he's putting it in. We'll get this scan out, no problem. Then JD needs to scan come in. Started. Pinbit needs to just defend. He can wait. He can hide. He he can hide as long as possible until he hears that scan be that scanner be grabbed. Here we go. JD gonna grab for it. He's got one hand on the gun. Quick reload in there. Round and lost. Pinbit takes it. 
All right, let's uh Round starting. Get ready. Thirty seconds remaining. Round loss. Round starting. Thirty seconds remaining. Round loss. Round starting. Get ready.
Round starting. Sorry about that, folks. I am back. I promise I didn't die. Dealing with some issues with channel one. We're currently eight to six. Homeland ahead. All right, I'm back. We're having some issues on channel one, but I didn't want to pause the match because that didn't seem fair to these teams going back and forth and back and forth. 30 seconds remaining. And so we, I wanted to keep this going, but I also wanted to talk to channel one and get them fixed. Austin picks up one, tries to pick up another, does. Now Shadowhawk and Austin on defense, where are they? Oh, there he is, pinned it, I missed him. All right, let's get these scores updated. Sorry about that, Homeland is at nine. And Ziatic is at six. Round starting. There we go. Looks like a heavy push up through the skate park. Saba gonna go into the Overwatch. I mean, he's gonna get that long sight line, or is he just gonna start rotating through mid? Virtual Panda almost gets picked up by a grenade there. Now TNT, Pinbit, Urea, and Kogaru moving up. There's only two D. Wait, I'm missing some. There he is, JD. Oh, okay, in the back. Back B. They're watching for him. They're waiting for him. He does get one. He gets another. JD swings again. He doesn't get the third, but Shadowhawk does get the pickup. Get that instant replay going. You've got Austin picking up Kogaru. Now it's all up to Saba all by himself in the skate park. Saba and Shadowhawk Round find it out, lost. but Shadowhawk takes the kill, and that puts Ziatic, sorry, that puts Homeland up 10 match point. to 6 on match point. Round starting. Get ready. Match point. Map number one. Game number one. So many, so many games today. And if you are just tuning in, or if you haven't been paying attention, just remember that this is a best of three maps. We're starting with Kiti, then we're moving on to Mar, and then if you're tied, we'll be going to Suna for a tiebreaker. Once again, we're seeing that slow play from Ziatic. Saba does have the scanner on him. Austin's just getting his stretches in. Looks like he's powering up like a Dragon Ball Z character. Whoop. Oh. Oh, I think he saw him. That nade not going to catch anyone. Shadowhawk picks up Kogaru. Now Austin gets in a firefight. He gets one. He gets two. The nade comes out. The nade takes him down. Look, ba uh, bodies have physics, people. Look at that. Look at that instant replay there. And 
got Yuria and Saba pushing up. Short stack there to defend, but Yuria takes him down. Virtual Panda now holding the defensive line. Shadowhawk and JD rotating back. You've got two members of the attic. Now just one. He's going to be fighting it out with Virtual Panda. Virtual Panda does get the kill. Gives Homeland Esports their 11th point. Let's go. Here we go. We're going to go to map two shortly. Uh, the servers should be automatic, so we're going to take a quick look. But while we're here, let's see what the bracket looks like. Is what I've got so far. We just had Ziatic and Homeland at the bottom there duking it out. So the teams in today, I think I missed out on Veil in the one I read out earlier. So it's out on Veil, Ethereal, Wreck, Precedence, Air 404, Kermit, Off Constantly, Potassium, Boss Fight, Deathwish, Ziatic, and Homeland. And Homeland just took map number one in this first round matchup. Now they have to go take map number two. So we're going to take a quick look and see if the bracket is updated. And it does look like some scores are coming in. Unfortunately, Wrecked took both maps. Wait, no. I don't know if this bracket is maps or if this is points. It's maps. Wrecked took both maps from Ethereal already. It's like Air 404 and Kermit still going on. Potassium Boss Fight has finished one map. And we are going to move into the next one. Let's look at the server browser real quick. We have Homeland and Ziatic. Log into this one. All right. Nobody in the lobby yet, but we are moving to Mar. So while we wait, we're actually going to do a sponsor ad, and we'll be right back. All right, we're still waiting on some teams. I'm not sure if they're aware that they are getting these passwords and servers up instantly, but. Um, listening to the voices in my head to make sure everything's good. Alright, we're going to play the other ad because we only showed you the 
Bobo M1 Plus, I believe is the one I just played, but they also have the new and improved Bobo M2 Plus, which is the one I ordered. Check out this one. Guys, guys, I am just realizing that I have not had any of this coffee that I made this morning. You guys want more energy? More? You guys want more energy? Also, let's talk about yesterday. I'm a little concerned. I'm a little concerned with the amount of uh, caffeine I took yesterday because I drank two of these full of coffee from basically 11 a.m. until, I don't know when I stopped drinking, probably like 10 o'clock. All right, looks like everyone is joining into the lobby. We're missing one more person from the, the attic side. Attic and homeland. Homeland, homeland, there we go. And we are on Mar. Let's take a quick look. Let's see, what can we do, what can we do, what can we do? What What do we want to show the people at home? That is the real question. Follow us on Twitter. It's over here, there it is. Follow us on Twitter, at IBR League. We got everyone in the lobby. It's gonna start in 30 seconds. Who do you think is gonna win map number two? Are we gonna go to a third map tiebreaker? I think we only had one, one tiebreaker yesterday. Only one match out of all of them went to a third map. Let's go. Back to score. here we go. We're at the bottom of this bracket here. And here goes the pistol round on beautiful, beautiful Mar. Round starting. I picked up the scanner there. Pinbit does have the scanner. listening for those footsteps. That hawk's still listening for those footsteps on A. Yes, that long pause was me figuring out which one was A and B. Professional. Code Garu takes some shots at Austin, gives away his position. Now the attack is going to have to start. Austin and Code Garu in a firefight. Shadowhawk and Pinbit also fighting it out up there. Austin rotates. Starts charging Code Garu. Code Garu doesn't have anywhere to go, and they trade. Doorstack coming in one-handed on the zipline. 
sees Timbit, takes him out. What an excellent kill there. That's going in the highlight reel for sure. T-Man does have a nade. Gets that nade out. He hears that zip line. He comes around fire. He's trying to pick up Shadow on the objective. Shadow goes for the reload. He gets pushed. Team T-Man goes for the reload. Dabo goes down. JD doesn't see this cross. I think. Round loss. Oh, with the nade. The frag taking him out. I didn't even see the frag come in. And that's one point to Homeland. On map number two. Homeland did take Round map starting. number one, as you can see in this beautiful graphic here. It's even color-coded for the folks at home. <laughs> I promise you're not going to have to deal with me all day. Just most of the day. Doesn't look like Ziatic is committed to either side yet. Who has the scanner? Saba. Saba's slow creeping up to B. Gotta goes downstairs. Doesn't want to get into a fight in that doorway. Just wants to slow him down enough. Slow him down. Let him come through. Garou does take him down. Pinbit now maybe going to try and get that refrag? Nope, he's not going to force it. Saba does have only one person between... Oh, Saba's going to get taken. Shots from JD. Saba should choose to make this rotation. Go the other direction. They're going to keep pushing A. JD's still at the door. Him. Austin gets pinned bit with a nade. Long shots from Team T Man down the zip line. Now Austin's here. Austin goes down. Shadowhawk goes down as well, but not before a trade. Saba only has 30 seconds. Slow creeping in. Ten seconds left. Up one needs to get into the objective. Dude, time is out. Saba runs out of time. Unfortunate. First time we've seen that, I think. I think the entire tournament really had that one. They had the opportunity there, too. Round starting. Unfortunately, get ready. Go. Just not keeping track of that time in your head. And that 30 second voice comes in, man. Like. You gotta be ready for it. You gotta you gotta know what you're gonna do at that point. You gotta commit. Saba now gonna be going for B. They all took a little bit of fall damage. Every time you hear that noise, I was just checking the health bars, but they have lost just a slight bit of health. Every time you hear that fall noise, they take some damage, but they are slow creeping here, but they need to make sure their guns don't bang into the wall. It's all kinds of things that make noise. Saba is rocking the ABC, ACP Pro, ACP 9 Pro. Now they're making noise. Back, putting shots out does hit him. Flash. Oh, Saba looks right into that flash. Shadowhawk does pick up Kogaru. On the other side, the other. Ooh, that explosion was really close. Shadow short stack now in the corner. Goes down to Pinbit. Pinbit and Saba trying to push this still. 30 seconds remaining. 30 seconds left. Now they need to commit. Virtual Panda looks down low. Doesn't see anyone. Saba goes high. Homeland going up three points. Round starting. R. 
Oh, we got some dancing going on. Austin is loving the dancing. Dancing all day. Homeland up 3-0 on map number two. Can they keep pushing this momentum? Short stack gonna get engaged by TNT. TNT takes him down. The nades coming out. Virtual Panda getting spotted. Going up top on B. Is that VIP? Or is that the other side? I'm not sure. JD does pick one up. The scan has started. Pinbit hanging out there, waiting for someone to come in. JD gets shots from Saba. Pinbit going to decide to charge him. Instead, they trade out. Now Austin coming into the zip line. Oh, and the grenade! Just eliminating. Austin got another grenade, throws it down there, makes sure the objective's clear. They go down for the defuse. They've got plenty of time. Scan interrupted. Round loss. So much dancing. So much dancing. Round starting. Get ready. Let's go find a good vantage point. Where do we want to go? All right, Kogaru going up through the middle. Is he gonna take the zipline up? Nope. He's gonna keep moving, throw those pre-time nades, take the stairs. Maybe he skipped leg day. He wants to take the stairs. He wants that exercise, you know? Are you the person that takes the escalator or the stairs? The whole team looks right. Virtual Panda comes from the left. Now they're splitting sides. Panda goes around. They're making a rotation. Saba goes down to Virtual Panda, but they did make it inside. Who has the scanner? Nobody has it. They got to go pick it up. There it is. JD now coming in. TNT man does have the scanner. Rhea not ready. JD takes him down. TNT man going to take the zip line all the way across. What an excellent rotation. There's nobody there. Nobody heard him take it. Nobody saw him take it. Austin now making a rotation, but TNT man's going to be able to get this free and clear. Austin realizing that nobody is over here. Going to take the zip line. Man, that. He's looking up the stairs. Austin takes him down, and there should be plenty of time for Austin to dance and defuse. I is this he doing the shopping cart? Round what was what was that? Homeland feeling very comfortable on map number two. Round starting. I don't know if you saw the lore video at the beginning, but if you're around for the pre-show or if you didn't see it and you want to see it, the pre-show has the Mar and Kiwi uh, lore videos. Look at that. Just a little short. I wanted it. I wanted it so bad. I just wanted it to catch. All of the attic. Gonna be moving up on the catwalk now. JD looking up. Doesn't see anybody. Oh, but an excellent name by Austin. Let's get that on a replay, shall we? Right through the opening. A short stack coming up top onto the catwalk and it looked for Pinbit. The virtual panda also taking the zip line, which has a lot of noise, gives away his position. One goes down. Round loss. Shadowhawk picks up the last member, Kogeru, as he's on the catwalk. They never made it off of the catwalk. Couldn't really commit to a side. And just really didn't didn't push hard enough one way or the other. Round starting. Get ready. Whoa, that's not what I wanted to do. Sorry about that. (laughs) 
opting for a and Urea, both approaching A. Virtual Panda gets Urea. Round lost. Oh, snap to the wrong person. Daba. Rage out. And Homeland take their seventh point. Round starting. And I think ready. that the match on IBR League One has finished. I think we're the only ones still going. So, welcome to anyone that just joined up. Oh, thanks, Lamp. I love you too. Oh my God, I just missed someone die right off the bat. JD picks up two. Oh, that's rough. Three, right off of the rip. Man, I should have been paying attention. I'm just kidding. I didn't expect someone to die that fast right there. Virtual Panda taking Catwalk. Austin also moving up to take Catwalk. Virtual Panda looks the wrong direction. Doesn't see Saba in the corner, but the long shots from Short Stack pick him up. Austin double checking to make sure that was a friendly shooting. And now Kogaru at the bottom here. He gonna go up the stairs. Oh, Austin with the drop shot. Ladies and gentlemen, Austin. Round starting. That's such an aggressive play, and I love it. Okay, so how did they die right off the bat? Right here? JD gonna try and do it again? He is, he swings! He doesn't get anybody that time. Saba Kogeru up on top. Urea has the scanner this time, though. They're all looking, but no one's watching their backside as Virtual Panda creeps up the catwalk. Kogeru looking the wrong direction while in the open gets picked up by Shadowhawk. Nice nade there from Austin picking up TNT man on the downside. Got a hawk dropping down now, looking for these kills. They're getting aggressive. Ziatic really feeling it. Pinbit. Virtual Panda picks up one. Pinbit gets Shadowhawk. Short stack gets Urea upstairs. Austin chasing down Pinbit downstairs. So many people in such a tiny space. Pinbit sees them and they trade wow, out. Loss. And that goes to Homeland once again. Homeland running away with map number two. Round starting. Get ready. Map one score was 6 11. You'll see it in between rounds here in the little graphic. I can also pull it up for you again so you can see it if you have old man eyes like radar. I can pull it up full screen. Well, not full screen, but larger. There you go. There's your scores. Saba trying to hit JD there, or trying to hit Austin, I think, actually. Austin with a nade. Oh, just over Saba. Does do a lot of damage. Down to a quarter health. Austin comes around firing. Austin's rocking a pistol right now. I'm not sure why. Maybe he lost his gun during the zip line, but... I'm not really sure. Where's this last guy? Who am I missing? Inti man, pin bit. Nobody has the scanner. Virtual Panda picks up Inti man and a great short stack. Gets taken down by pin bit. Wow, it's up to JD. Who's got it? JD is dancing. He's dancing, folks. Here's the scanner get picked up. 
round loss. And the trade happens, and it goes to Homeland. Pinbit getting the kill. We're switching sides. And we're switching sides, ladies and gentlemen. Round starting. Match point or I just want to follow JD. Is he going to dance? Is he going to sing? Heavy A push here. Sorry, B. This is B. The grenade going just past Saba right there. Austin actually taking that kill. Virtual Panda gets in a gunfight with TNT, man. They trade out. So Urea still down there. Austin sees him. The glass is not penetrable anymore. Austin gets Urea. Short stack holding Overwatch on the objective. They could go for the scan. It sounds like they're just going to wait. Nope, there's the scan. They're going for it. The zip line came over. Kogaru and Pivot coming on the zip line. And short stack. Probably heard that, and it's going to be ready. Picks up one. Pinbit comes around. Oh, Austin sees him. Pinbit gets one. JD puts a ton of rounds down range. He's got akimbo pistols, ladies and gentlemen. Round loss. JD, my god. Let's, let's watch that one. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Akimbo JD. Just so hurtful. So, so hurtful. And I think that that is it for map. Sorry, for round one. Pull up the bracket real quick. Take a look. And it looks like the bracket is updated. Sorry, mine is not, but we have a new one that is even fancier. So we're just gonna turn that off. Um, we are on the second, second S round. So the winners from map one, round one. There we go. Words are hard today, guys. Let's go to the analyst desk so you can see me full screen. Hey, how you doing? Hey. Uh, the winners from round number one, Wrecked taking two maps, Air 404 taking two maps, Boss Fight taking two maps, and Homeland Esports taking two maps. And we did have Out on Veil, Precedence, Off Constantly, and Death Wish having buys. So they're going to be up in this next one. So we're going to see Out on Veil and Wrecked, Precedence and Air 404, Off Constantly and Boss Fight, and Homeland and Death Wish. Who do we want to watch? Chat, let me know who you want to watch. And while we wait, I'm going to send you to this highlight reel of all of those excellent replays from this match. Take a look. Bogaru, Saba, and Pinbit pushing in, trying to retake that objective. Pinbit starts to disable. Shadowhawk comes around. Pinbit's trying to one-hand him. He's gonna have to reload. No, he gets the kill. Retake that objective. Pinbit starts to disable. Shadowhawk comes around. Pinbit's trying to one-hand him. He's gonna have to reload. No, he gets the kill. Scan interrupted. And the scan is Round interrupted. Off. Shadowhawk takes one down. Now it's just Pinbit. He's got 19 seconds. Shadowhawk needs to play the time. Needs to keep rotating. He's going to go for the gunfight Round instead. Off. And he gets the kill. And Homeland go up three to one. TNT man gets Shadowhawk. Now they're going to push him for Panda and short stack. Panda goes down. TNT man rotating Round enough. Off. Oh, and the nade catches short stack. I didn't see that. It was off the side. Let's see if the replay catches that. 
He needs to stay alive. He gets another one. He swings around the left side now. TNT man's moving up. He's, he's, here's the scanner start to defuse. He knows the pin bit's there. He does pick up pin bit. Now is he gonna get the last one? He gets TNT Round man. Lost. JD with the clutch. Flash Austin definitely blind from that. Virtual Panda and short stack over there. But wait, where is the scanner? Oh, Shadow has it. Now they're gonna rotate back. They get into a firefight with pin bit. Coming out of the skate park. Oh, and a nade! What a nade coming in there. Get it. This is gonna be so close. I think this is a scan. Scott. Oh, he gets it! Round loss. Quick reload in there. Round and loss. Pinbit takes it. I'm missing some. There he is, JD. Oh, okay, in the back. Back B. They're watching for him. They're waiting for him. He does get one. He gets another. JD swings again. He doesn't get the third, but Shadowhawk does get the pickup. I saw him. That nade not going to catch anyone. Shadowhawk picks up Kogaru. Now, Austin gets in a firefight. He gets one. He gets two. The nade comes out. The nade takes him down. Look, ba uh, bodies have physics, people. Look at that. All right, Shadowhawk and Pinbit also fighting it out up there. Austin rotates. Starts charging Kogaru. Kogaru doesn't have anywhere to go, and they trade. Short stack coming in one-handed on the zip line. Sees Pinbit. Takes him out. What an excellent kill there. Him. Austin gets Pinbit with a nade. Long shots from TNT, man. Down the zip line. Here. Austin goes down. Shadowhawk goes down as well, but not before a trade. Picks up one. Needs to get into the objective. Dude, time is out. Saba runs out of time. Unfortunate. First time we've seen that, I think. Pinbit hanging out there, waiting for someone to come in. JD gets shots from Saba. Pinbit then decide to charge him. Instead, they trade out. Now Austin coming into the line. Oh, and the grenade! Just eliminating. I. Is this the shopping cart? Round what lost. was what was that? Homeland feeling very comfortable. That walk now. JD looking up. Doesn't see anybody. Oh, what an excellent name by Austin. Let's get the direction. Doesn't see Saba in the corner, but the long shots from Short Stack pick him up. Austin double checking to make sure that was a friendly shooting. And now Kogaru at the bottom here. Is he gonna go up the stairs? Oh, Austin with the drop shot! Just over Saba does do a lot of damage. Down to a quarter health. Austin comes around firing. Austin's rocking a pistol right now. I'm not sure why. Maybe he lost his gun during the zip line, but. Here's the scanner get picked up. Round loss. And the trade happens, and it goes to Homeland. Pinbit getting the kill. JD puts a ton of rounds down range. He's got a Kimbo pistols, ladies and gentlemen. Round loss. JD, my God. Kogaru, Saba, and Pinbit pushing in, trying to retake that objective. Pinbit starts to disable. Shadowhawk comes around. Pinbit's trying to one-hand him. He's gonna have to reload. No, he gets the kill. Retake that objective. Pinbit starts to disable. Shadowhawk comes around. Pinbit's trying to one-hand him. He's gonna have to reload. No, he gets the kill. Scan interrupted. And the scan is interrupted. Shadowhawk takes one down. Now it's just Pinbit. He's got 19 seconds. Shadowhawk needs to play the time. Needs to keep rotating. He's gonna go for the gunfight wow, instead. He, and he gets the kill. And Homeland go up three to one. TNT man gets Shadowhawk. Now they're gonna push him for Panda and short stack. Panda goes down. TNT man rotating wow, enough. Lost. Oh, and the nade catches short stack. I didn't see that. It was off the side. Let's see if the replay catches that. 
needs to stay alive. He gets another one. He swings around the left side now. TNT man's moving up. He's, he's, here's the scanner start to defuse. He knows the pin bit's there. He does pick up pin bit. Now is he going to get the last one? He gets TNT Round man. JD lost. with the clutch. Flash Austin definitely blind from that. Virtual Panda and short stack over there. But wait, where is the scanner? Oh, Shadow has it. Now they're going to rotate back. They get into a firefight with pin bit. Coming out of the skate park. Oh, and a nade. What a nade coming in there. Get it. This is going to be so close. I think this is a scan. Oh, he gets it. Round loss.